Segregation of duties, or sometimes separation of duties, is an internal control that requires multiple people to perform a task. Segregation of duties has two primary effects. First, it reduces fraud by requiring collusion between multiple people. Having multiple people involved in a crime makes it easier to detect and harder to conceal. Second, it reduces the chance of error and thus improves the integrity of the data and systems. You can think of segregation of duties using the nuclear missile analogy. In this example, the system issues two different people with different launch keys. The first arms the warhead, the second launches the missile. This codependency between the two keys means Commander Alice and Commander Bob must both enter the launch keys at the same time to arm and launch the nation's nuclear arsenal. Typically, in the world of business and technology, segregation of duties isn't quite as life-threatening as launching a nuclear missile. However, it is no less critical, given the threat of identity theft and fraud. A great example of implementing segregation of duties is GitHub's pull request system. The rules of the system are as follows. First, developers may not commit directly to the master branch. Second, developers may only merge a branch to master as part of a pull request. Third, pull requests must pass all checks. Finally, pull requests must receive approval by at least one person not involved in the creation of the pull request. By implementing these rules using GitHub permission model and potentially a CI/CD platform like Jenkins or GoCD means that to make any change to code more than one person must be involved. Part of the reason GitHub's pull request system has been so successful is that it empowers individual contributors to deliver business value safely rather than creating bottlenecks by requesting manager, security or operations approval to make the change to the code base. Thank you for watching this video. Do you like it? Use the thumbs up, thumbs down controls to let me know. While you're at it, why not leave me a comment and tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. I release videos every week, so hit the subscribe button to avoid missing out. Do you know somebody who would like this video? Go ahead and share it on your favourite social network. Make sure you tag me so I can follow the conversation.